Hello Aries, welcome to Soul Good. My name is Amber Marie and I am so looking forward to having the opportunity to speak to your soul today. Today I'll be doing a three card spread for the month of November. Uh, the first card is going to indicate what we can expect for you the be at the beginning. Um, and then the second card is going to indicate what we can expect for you at the middle of the month. And the third card is going to indicate what we might expect for you at the end of the month. Super excited to jump in with you guys. I do want to let you know that this month, um, according to numerologist.com, is really about introspection, right? Reflection, reevaluation, uh, really diving in deep with ourselves. And so that being said, I'm going to be featuring the Starseed Oracle for this particular spread, uh, using it to really connect with our soul and find out what it is we need to know for the month of November. All right, guys, so let's jump right in and see what we have coming through for you. What can Aries expect for the beginning of November 2021, please? What can Aries expect, please? Universe spirits, thank you. All right, Aries, for the beginning of the month, you have double mission, lightworker, starseed, serve the world by being you. Wow, that's beautiful. I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into all three of these cards once we have them all out. And what can Aries expect for the middle of the month for November 2021, please? What can Aries expect for the middle of November 2021? That's too many. Thank you. What can Aries expect for the middle of November 2021, please? What is the middle of... <laughs> Excuse me. What does the middle of the month hold for Aries? November 20. Thank you. We have messenger serious energy bringing harmony and balance. Beautiful. And the end of the month. What can Aries expect for the end of November 2021, please? the end of November 2021 hold for Aries please thank you wow okay I guess we're gonna take two because they both came out flying um wow we have here deep cellular healing Arcturus energy physical and emotional healing to start and we also have the cosmic heart devotion potency make your life a moving prayer okay And at the bottom of the deck, so what is hidden beneath the surface, activated earth, power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. All right, Aries. So the beginning of the month, first of all, let me just say like this month, again, is really about self-reflection and really about diving deep and really um, essentially getting very comfortable, very authentic with yourself, right? Um, so the beginning of the month, we have double mission for you guys with a light, light worker star seeds serve the world by being you. Um, I feel like here, the beginning of the month is going to look very much like, I feel like it is, it's, it's almost like I feel, see it as like pulling weeds, which is really strange. Um, but I see it as like, like a. Nope, I don't need this. Nope, I don't need this. Nope, I don't need this. Right? Um, this isn't who I am. Um, I see getting almost very clear about who you are and closing your eyes to everything that is not you. Um, it's very interesting, right? Because I'm almost, I'm seeing her as almost like in a meditative state, right? And it's like, getting to
Yeah, it's like it's like recognizing It's really interesting because it feels like recognizing like layers or or facets of yourself, right? But at the same time, it feels very much like getting rid of a bunch of things that aren't necessarily serving you, right? Like they don't serve that mission. And the middle of the month, it makes so much sense to me because you have this messenger with bringing harmony and balance. And I feel like that balance is brought through by acknowledging and accepting who you are, right? It's like embracing that, like, um, you know, I am who I am, like, that's what I meant by like closing your eyes to everything that doesn't like isn't you or doesn't serve you, right? Is like, I feel like that creates this balance and harmony within self because, but you know, it's, it's interesting because it's here as a messenger. That's the way that this comes through. But I feel like what it is, is that what's being highlighted here. is that harmony and balance. And I feel like that is activated by the acceptance of you, right? I feel like you have so much more to offer than what you think you do. Um, and that has been a common theme really for the collective in general. Um, you are the first reading that I'm doing of this series you know, as I do this in real time on November 1st, 2021, but the readings that I've done for the month thus far for my membership and others, um, has been a lot about really acknowledging self and accepting it. Right. Um, so I feel like that's, you know, where you're going as far as like the middle of the month is concerned, it's like, okay, now things are starting to balance out. Things are starting to feel lighter. Things are starting to feel like they're flowing a little bit more. And really what I think that is, is it's more of a focus on self. So not that many of these cards have more than one being because there are a lot that have just individuals, but that is a common theme here right? In these cards that are laid for you, Aries, um, they all have just one being, right? There's this one here. There's this one being here. There's one being here and one being here. So, right, that is really as annoyingly repetitive as that was, you know, was to tell you like, this is really a focus on self. And I feel like it's really about, um, bringing that balance by being true to who you are. And I think that toward the end of the month, you find healing in that. Um, I, th I think that you find healing in acknowledging yourself and it's, you, you know what it feels like? This is why it's been so like difficult for me to get this out because it feels like whatever it is that you've been, showing to the world. Okay. Um, whatever way you move, breathe, experience your reality feels like an imposter. I don't know if this has been your reality lately, Aries or not. Um, I know I have a young son who's an Aries and he's felt very lost lately. Um, so I don't know, you know, I'm just using this because it is something that just dropped in. That's from my own reality, um, that you may be able to relate to, but I feel that by exploring the authentic truth about who you are and acknowledging and accepting and embracing that there's a healing that starts to take place. I feel like what you start to exhibit, what, how you move, 
um, how you experience your reality starts to feel more real, more authentic. I think it starts to feel free because anytime you're wearing a mask or a facade of any kind, no matter how slight it may seem, there's a huge weight that you carry with that, right? Because it's because you're moving, breathing, speaking all from that falsity, right? And so I feel like once you start to acknowledge these facets of yourself and accept them and embrace them, I feel like there's a beautiful healing that takes place. And what I want to, another thing I want to share with you is that, you know, this being appears to be an angel um, of some kind, right? She has wings. And even though this being here doesn't appear to have actual wings, I'm being shown these what appear to be, you know, mountaintops or ridges or whatever behind this being looks like wings to me. So I feel like we're very guided um, by our team, right? Our cosmic team, our ancestors, our spirit guides. Um, I feel like we're, we're definitely guided here. I feel like we're definitely protected here as well. Um, the, the end of the month, right, also has this card coming out, the cosmic heart, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. And here's the thing. I really get more of this. I feel like you, how do I wear this? Um, it's really starting to feel the repercussions of living in this authenticity and deciding to stay true to that. Does that make sense? Um, it says here like devotion, make your, make your life a moving prayer. And to me, when I think about prayer, right, I think about God can hear my inside voice. God can hear exactly what I'm thinking, exactly what I'm feeling. Um, you know, there are no masks, no secrets when it comes to prayer. Um, and that is how I'm picking this card up. That is the energy that I'm tapping into is very much like make your life a moving prayer in the sense of like God can hear you. It, God knows your truth, your reality, right? So stop pretending like it's something different. I feel like you'll, know, if this resonates with you, if this is your story, if this is meant for you, I feel like you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, and I feel like, again, I feel like there's great healing in that authenticity. I feel like, um, there's great healing and being and feeling, um, like you accept you. That's what's really interesting, Aries. Um, I feel like this has been my experience with several Aries of all ages. Um, I feel like it's almost like you don't, it's almost like you don't like the real you, but the real you kind of slips out even like when you don't realize that that's what's going on and people love you for that. It's almost like when you try to be something else, that is when people really start to, it's almost like turn from you, right? You, it, and, and I'm, it's weird. Cause that's not to say like that, that wouldn't happen with any other sign. Right. Um, but I feel like you see your own qualities and the things like, I feel like you don't value you as much as those who are in your life value you. I think you don't see your own value. I think you see yourself as kind of like this imposter in a way. And so this whole reading, I feel like has been about you really kind of taking that mask off, accepting that you are who you are and really learning this month how to embrace that and allowing that to perpetuate healing within you. Um, and I feel like it's very freeing 
right? It feels very freeing to me to, to be able to, you essentially put down the burden of not being authentic, right? Um, again, because I feel like this cosmic heart with make your life a moving prayer, when I think about, at least right now, when I think about that word prayer, I'm thinking like God knows my, my inside voice. So anything I say, if I'm bullshitting, I'm going to be like, okay, you know what I mean? So I really feel like there's a lot here about getting back to yourself. And at the bottom of the deck, right, you do have this activated earth with power places and ley lines, you know, talking about um, trust where you're led. And I feel like, I don't necessarily feel like this has, a, um, I feel like it has less to do with a place and more to do with being led back to self, right? I feel like um, when I was talking earlier about like picking out like, no, this, it almost looked like picking weeds out of a flower bed. Like, no, these don't belong here, but these do. Um, that's, that's how I'm seeing this is like, um, tr like trust where you're led in the sense of what you feel you should be holding on to, hold on to it. What you feel you shouldn't don't. Right. Um, I also feel like there may be something here about getting out with nature um, right, we do have earth here and it does talk about power places and ley lines, right? So I do feel like there may be some benefit for you to get out into nature, maybe spend some time meditating or, you know, some time in solitude or time in the sunshine, right? Just to allow, um, the earth and the sun and nature to heal and cleanse and, um, give to you, right? Uh, so I feel like there may be some, some benefit for you there. Yeah. But I feel like this whole trust where you're led, I feel like it's really a lot about um, that, that inner balance, right? Right. Um, trusting what it is that you feel called to hold on to as part of yourself and to release what doesn't, what, right, what feels false or, or doesn't feel beneficial. Like anywhere that you're hiding or not being true to yourself, um, stop, <laughs> just stop, right? Because I feel like that is going to come up over and over again. Um, if you are in a position where you're not being authentic and true to self, I feel like it's going to blow up in your face. I don't know why that message is coming through. I haven't really had um, messages come through like that where I'm like, eh, don't do that, right? Because I do believe firmly in free will and, you know, everyone's story is different. Um, and ex it's, ex you know, everyone's story is specific to them. So, you know, I tend to stray away and usually those messages don't come through, but I'm really getting this feeling of like, if it is not true to you, don't do it because it's, it's likely to blow up in your face just to show you like this is not who you are. So it's not going to work if that makes sense. All right, Aries, that's what I have for you for the month of November 2021. I really hope that this has provided you with some kind of value or insight. You know, perhaps you can somehow better navigate the month of November. Um you know, utilizing this information, maybe, maybe be pro proactive in some situations, um, you know, but as always, thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity to speak to your soul today. I so love being here and I'm so grateful for you, um, showing up for you and to, you know, of course, listen to me. Um, I really, really love doing this. Please feel free to check out the soul good Facebook page. You can find it at 1111.soulgood. Um, there's a group that's connected to that Facebook page. I also have an exclusive Telegram monthly membership that provides daily readings, uh, monthly readings, weekly readings, all sorts of really great um, stuff. Early access and um, knowledge of promos, discounts, readings, free giveaways, all sorts of fun stuff over there. So feel free to check that out if you're interested. Um, otherwise, thank you again for being here. I'm so grateful. Take care of your beautiful soul. 
I'm sending you so much love and tons of hugs. See you next time.